little late in the day. There is just over 200 yearlings in here, about 450 cows or so. And we're gonna try to get them all into the branding pen, this Tate and I. Don't have a whole lot of confidence that it's gonna work. Otherwise, we'll start trying to sort yearlings off and kick them down the river. So we just have to gather the pairs so we can precondition. But we'll see how it goes. It's late enough in the day that if we have to, we'll punt it and we'll try again tomorrow. The trip was smart. We went right through here, down through that crack. Deke just jumped off of this, I don't know, 20 foot frickin' rim rock. Good, go get him. That'll do. Here. Where on? Deke, trip. Come in. Come here. Where on? Where on? Down, down, sit, 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 deek, sit, look, no, no, trip, look, trip, look, good, go ahead, where on, look, good, where on, easy, where on, Jump on. Come on, Deke. Come on, Trip. Come on, Deke. Come on, buddy. Let's see if Deke goes up the right way or if he tries to climb this rock. Oh, yeah. Up he comes. Come on, Deke. Oh, my gosh. I really thought he was smarter than this. That's all right where he went down. Come on. Jeez. Deke, come on. Deke, you're supposed to be smart. Go jump on. Good boys. bunch of yearlings in the front. They're stretched all the way around the corner and there's still a couple hundred on the dam I'm sure. Tate's gonna try to just split them in a spot that looks convenient. And we'll try to do two gathers. Well, that's a lot of space in between us for two people. We'll see how it goes. If our pens were just a little bit bigger it'd be no big deal. But we're gonna run out of space and the front ones are gonna be trying to come out way before the back ones get here. So I'm just kinda trying to hold these front ones up in this little bowl right here. At the same time, trying not to push them back onto Tate. Just kinda slowing them down if I can. And hopefully those ones down there don't break in the middle and go across the creek. There's a lot of, a lot of butts 
and ifs. I forgot to make a video because it got a little sketchy. We did get them all gathered. We're sorting the cows off from the yearlings. Four total. So we'll get all these calves and yearlings sorted off, kick the cows out, trail the bread heifers away, and then we'll uh, precondition calves and headlights, I guess. Who's excited to precondition calves in the dark? Not me. I've never been more jealous of cows than to be able to drink out of just nasty water. I would love to have a drink of that right now. It looks so good. We are running out of daylight. Trailing these bread heifers down to the river, and then we still have to go back and precondition the calves. Looks like the cows are headed this way because they're pretty sure that their calves are getting trailed away. So we kind of gotta hurry. Get these guys through the gate, shut the gate, then we'll go back and get our vaccine and start working some calves. Might have to go back to the cam stool and grab another pickup with decent headlights. Hopefully we're able to pull it off in the dark. I'm not really 100% sure, but hey, I didn't think we were gonna be able to get all these gathered either, and we got that part done, so doing good so far. They're even going to make it to their golf tournament.
Deke, what did you get in town? What did you get? Cheeseburger. Mmm. Yummy. And nuggets. I better not have a Tootsie Roll. Oh, sorry. All gone. How was your first day of kindergarten? Great. Great. Do you like a teacher? Yep. Good. All right. So I'm going to ask you some questions. What is your favorite color? Red. Okay. What is your favorite animal? Dog. Okay. Um, what is your birthday? November 5th. And how old are you? And who's your parents? Lincoln and Ashley and Jessica. Okay. Who is your biggest role model, your hero, and who do you want to be like when you grow up? My friend, Louise. Seriously? <gasps> Why are you going to make me cry? I love that. So, you want to be like him, huh? I love that. And what do you want to be when you grow up? A cowboy. A cowboy? Where do you want to work? A camp store ranch. <laughs> With your dad? Yep. Oh, that'll be good. Team. Almost there. We've left all, or not we, I've left all sorts of stragglers back there, but they're coming along. I'm not sure where Tate is. I'm guessing he's over there on the creek. Those farthest cows down there bring them my way. Should hopefully meet in the middle somewhere near the gate. A bunch of, really caught me off guard. There's a bunch of antelope up there, I think, is what it is. Right there. I just went up into a hole the fence up there, I would guess. It's the only thing that I know for sure antelope are good at. So I about really dropped the ball. Yesterday I had all these big plans to come move these cows today. And I told Ashley, we're kind of new to the whole Merritt going to kindergarten thing. And I'm used to having him with me every day. So I was like, yeah, I'll just bring Merritt's horse, my horse, Tate, and a four-wheeler. And when Merritt's, you know, when Merritt gets played out or whatever, or his horse gets played out, I'll just run him back to the trailer and we'll jump on a four-wheeler. Turns out, thank goodness I didn't say anything to Merritt because he had school today. And he would have been fighting mad if he knew that we were doing this today. We're gonna find out pretty soon, I suppose, but I'm thinking we're gonna try to make sure to start doing some more riding because all of us kids grew up riding and we just kind of shifted over to four wheelers and Merritt doesn't ever really, he doesn't get a chance to ride as often as he should. Start trying to make a habit of riding a little more often. We'll see how that goes. These guys overshot our gate by about half a mile. And they were a bunch trailing behind them. Trip and I ran up here. We're gonna push these back towards Tate. 
And hopefully we'll meet in the middle somewhere at the gate. Hopefully. Peanut is getting tired and fussy. Because I don't ride often enough. She's fat, tired, and out of shape. Just like me. I don't know if we're going to be able to get him past this first dam or not. I wanted to take him up to the next one, but we might be petered out here. We'll see. This dam is kind of hard to get around from both sides. Lots of calves back here. Hopefully they don't beat us back to the pickup. You can tell we're off the old creek bottom. The terrain is a little rougher. A little more rough. I don't know if rough, know if rougher is a word or not. Maybe it's more rough. It's a little more rough. It's a little rougher. Go ahead. Hills are alive. These guys found a little open pocket through there. I think Peanut. Peanut's over it. Dude, what do you say? Can I have a hug before you leave? Can I have a hug? No, we gotta get the muscle. Merit, be good. Merit. Just a little more. 